All right, guys. I got that. 7-Eleven. It's open 24 hours. It's there when we need it. And they have poopy food? I can hear you now. What's going on, Philip? The 7-Eleven has poopy food? I'm, I'm kind of scared. Yes, it does. I found this place 1.7 stars. Off of 18 reviews, it would actually be hard to get something lower than this. This is absolutely abysmal. Let's see what people are saying. 2100-ish at night, my husband and I go in to order 12 meatballs and two corn dogs. That's your first problem. There's so much to unpack here. I mean, also the military time. Linda, I was up 2100 hours sharp for my corn dog. This is edited. You want you want to see her entire review? Wait till you see this. Boom. I'm not going to read all this and I pray her husband divorces her. Tell your employees to stop parking their Nissan GTRs in the gas bay, it's blocking the way. There's actually another review talking about this too. Weird owner always parks his car blocking a pump. Nissan GTR, what does this even look like? Oh, it looks kind of dope actually. Not bad. $180,000? I'm glad this guy is uh, selling taquitos like that, but bro, who the fuck would pay that much for a Nissan? Is that, am I crazy? Great experience, a clean store and variety of products. So this is the only positive review that I, that I saw. Why do I feel like this is not real? Look at this photo they attached. Hey everybody, just so you know, they do take the Speed Pass app here. There's no way this guy is a real profile, right? <gasps> 27,000 contribution. This says he's reviewed 27,000 places, bro. Holy fuck. This guy's reviewing signs. Look at this. Easy to get to and access. There's a bathroom here. He reviewed a Bible camp. The kids love it every time they attend their camp here. Fingerprinting services. Great customer service. Had to come here after I did something at a Bible camp. And all his reviews are so positive. So it's either... It's either like a bot or like the nicest guy ever. All the other reviews are so pissed off. They sound like they hate this place. Let's find out if it's really that bad. Now, before we get into the food, can I please tell a story real quick about lost love? You can skip ahead. You can skip to the food if you want. It connects to 7-Eleven, I swear. I was scrolling TikTok and I found this guy, Shoddy Mills. <laughs> Now the times have changed, but for season I feel your heart as I'm breathing. I remember that time like it was yesterday. Yeah, this saw you giggling as you asked me, can I have your number? But now I feel myself fighting as I've been through the hardest of battles. And it doesn't matter if the world is in shambles. Just if I had you holding my candle, cause you light up my world in many ways. But I ain't forgetting walking through the door of your workplace with your beautiful smile that you had all over your face. So if you didn't fully understand, this guy went to 7-Eleven. A girl asked him for his phone number, but he said, no, I'm married. He was married. Loyal guy. But then he gets divorced and he likes this girl. He wants to make contact with her again, but the 7-Eleven is now closed. That she worked at. So now he's trying to find her. He's not sure what to do. So I decided to meet up with him to get a little more on the story. Sean. What's up, bro? Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Tell me about the your lost love from 7-Eleven. I used to live right behind the 7-Eleven before, mm. and I had a ring on my finger, and then this Filipino girl was like, can I have your number? And I was like, what? Mm. <laughs> I have a ring on my finger, and then she's like, she like immediately regretted it. <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> was, was she like ashamed? Like, oh, no, fuck, she was, I... kind of, she was kind of, she kind of like embarrassed, kind of just like yeah. standing there, just, whoops. I, you're married or whatever and I was like so shocked at the same time I was like what the heck hitting on the <laughs> husband by accident <laughs> but then I separated and then I separated and then the 7-eleven shut down man like wow. it shut down within the last like freaking six to eight months it shut down been trying to track her down and stuff but there was no luck should I put you on the spot to drop some bars what do you think see me when I spit it I shatter a critic they critically acclaim me they coming straight from my brain when I'm going twisted insane ah. like you're chilling by Charlie Manson knocked out like I'm ready with Jason ah. chilling on a pin you can't critically acclaim me yeah. I'm going right at your back When I snap your neck Like a ratchet strap When you snap it back so quick I'm like a quick flash When I'm disappearing like flash When I flash fire When I pass the fire I'm passing the torch Like you in March Madness uh -huh. <laughs> March Madness Fucking I'm fucking a grandma Her name's Agnes <laughs> Danny Glover I'm a thoughtful lover 
with Jennifer Lopez sipping on six bottles. Ah. Six bottles, like it seems. Panoramic, well, it's erratic, it seems like it's erratic, man. Like it seems like a part of me, like you're part of a Ramadan, smacking like a channel man. Head of it, like it's set of it, filling your mouth full of anivan. Look at passed out in your minivan. I don't take a cap gun, you just can't. Okay, okay, get out, get out. Get out. <laughs> just kidding. No, no. <laughs> Dude, you'll fun. go all day. Oh, I could go all day. All right, man. All right, dude, good, good, good fucking Thanks kicking for the it, man. Ride. Dude, my pleasure. Fuck. Dropped ya, Becca. Are you hurt, Becca? I think this is worth taking a picture of, actually. So you guys can see how I usually film this sh shit like this. I have a tripod too, so I don't even know why, why I do this. Alright, so for my next trick, I will be calling every 7-Eleven in the city to see if they know anything about this. There's 59. I counted. At first I was going to the 7-Elevens, I went to a couple. Are you familiar with uh, Shoddy Mills? She asked for his number when they were, when he was married, but now he's like divorced and he's like... Oh. Yeah. And then I was like, holy shit, it would just be so much easier to call. So it takes me on average about 35 seconds to explain Shoddy Mills. So this should take just under an hour if I'm fast with it. Hi, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Are you familiar, familiar with, with Shoddy Mills? Mills? Sorry, say again? Shoddy Mills, he's a, a TikToker. He's, um, he posted a TikTok about how he had like a lost love that was working from 7-Eleven, a Filipino girl, and I'm trying to help him track her down. Do you know anything about it? No. Okay. One hour later. I'm trying to help him track down his lost love. He had, when he went back, it was clo- Oh, well that was a fucking disaster. Either somebody lied to me, or nobody has any clue what I'm talking about. Although, one of the girls at one of the 7-Elevens I went to said something that did actually make sense. But maybe now she's committed. Maybe she would have seen it, maybe she's in a relationship, yeah it's hard to say. Yeah. If this is a girl in her 20s, she's probably seen the video, bro. If she- you know, you know how TikTok is with location too, it can be- It'll give you exactly what you need to see, so... I don't know, man. Maybe she wasn't actually interested, maybe she has a boyfriend now. Who knows, dude. But that's not gonna stop me from trying to hook Shoddy up. Especially when he's posting amazing country music covers, like what he just posted while I was on the phone here. Baby lock the door and turn the lights down low and put some music on the soft and slow. We are gonna go out tonight and try to wingman Shoddy Mills. He posted a story looking like an absolute cutie. Look at this guy, bro. This guy's like a sexy teddy bear right <laughs> oh now. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yo, I met this girl at McDonald's. Ah. Uh -huh. standing right next to a rail. Uh-huh. My two buddies, David and Philip Solo. We can Whoa. never fail. We can never fail. Dropping it like you, dropping it like a modern day Shakespeare in the present day. To throw up this rap with my own mixture. Uh-huh. He just posted a TikTok about rapping about the girl we wingmanned for him. I'm so excited. <laughs> It was just the other night, out of nowhere I saw you stand there with your beautiful hair And I stood patiently in the club to get your signal And it's my palms and spine slowly shiver My friend David and Philip Solo started to introduce me That's amazing Alright, well he did get a girl's number I helped wingman it, I'm quite proud I just have to tell you that uh, My friend here thinks you're absolutely beautiful Having a horrible day. Yeah. Like, you just made this day. She's like a big TikToker too. But it was a bottle girl. So you tell me in the comments if you think uh, a bottle girl's number counts or not. In the meantime, it's finally time to hit the worst 7-Eleven in the city. So first of all, this 7-Eleven was a lot smaller than I expected. I'm in a self-destructive mood. I will be getting a hot dog. This hot dog station looks it doesn't look like a real hot dog station. It feels like something that Harry Potter pulls on to like it reveal the path to Hogwarts or something. It just feels like it's not actually supposed to be there. Look at the state this is in. I'm like fishing for pickles. Got one. This fucking onion that looks like shredded jellyfish. Barely any banana peppers. I don't know what this was, like a honey garlic sauce. I just kind of spooned it on and then uh, 
green onions. I, what the fuck is that? Then it was time to meet up with Shadi to try the food and bring the video home. What's been new, man? You did um, <laughs> you did a Rebecca Black Friday cover. Yeah. I'm just... working up in the morning. Gotta be fresh. Gotta go downstairs. Gotta have my bowl. Gotta have seriously and everything. Time is going. Uh, Whoa, dude, that looks like a. Is that like meatballs on a stick, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this, bro. It's like the driest oh, meat known yeah. to man. Really? This looks. Doesn't this look like right now? Like you're like pushing out the edge of a log. Oh, dude, what's with all that sauce? They just drench. That's like the one dry part, and then they just drench the rest with fucking sauce. Oh my god, bro. The meat is pretty hard. Is it? The meat is way too hard. This must have been sitting there for a, a minute. Fucking hell. <laughs> It's like weirdly hard, right? Taquitos. <laughs> this might be the classic like <laughs> drunk food. It is, bro. Wait, look at that, bro. There's nothing inside the taquito for like <laughs> fucking half of it. What yeah. is that, bro? Wait, dude. <laughs> it's like a spider web of cheese, bro. <laughs> bro, that tastes old as fuck. Bro, slavery was legal when this taquito was cooked. <laughs> dude, it doesn't taste like a normal taquito, man. No, it tastes stale. This is like a Sunday evening taquito right now, bro. It's like the weekend's over, everybody already like had the drunk taquito and this is like the <laughs> leftovers. It's actually amazing how you can get any flavor of taquito yep. and it'll all just taste like fucking hot feces inside. Like, <laughs> so Ooh. Close. Chicken wings, bro. Okay, these wings actually look good, but here's the thing with 7-Eleven wings, bro. It's all batter. Yeah, like, there's just... no actual chicken on these fucking things. This is the most American shit. They're like, oh, this wing is so big, but it, dude, it's all deep fry. <laughs> is it the worst wings you've tasted though? Honestly, it might be, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely saved the best for last. Yeah. This might be the ugliest. Dude, are you gonna be able to eat that in one bite, dude? I got all the toppings on it, bro. Like, oh, literally. Yeah. No sauce though? I guess I didn't, I didn't see any sauce. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Oh no, I did get this like okay, cum. Dude, I don't know what that, I don't know what kind of sauce that, sauce. dude, it looks like cum sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I can tell from looking at it, it looks bad. It doesn't even look that appetizing to Bro, me, the man. bread tastes so stale. I genuinely Dude, look hope at I... this thing, man. It looks like it's gonna have, grow mold right through it soon, man. Like, <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, what the? I, this is not a very good Easter dinner. <laughs> Oh my god, this is our Easter dinner. Dude, it's Easter Sunday. Yeah, bro. Oh, bro, that's so depressing. That is you just so depressing. I just, I just remembered that. I was like, oh my god, bro. Well, you might not have found love, but at least you... Uh... I shot my shot. Yeah, bro. <laughs> but I feel like it was never... It was never about the fucking girls, was it, bro? No. It was about the TikTok. Yeah. It was about the mark. You're a marketer, bro. You're a good marketer. Yeah, I am. There's a reason why I went viral, because I just kept on working, working, working at it, like finding some right marketing strategy. Yeah, you're smart, bro. Like, you're smart with that shit. Did you ever even love her shoddy? Which one? <laughs> <laughs> that says it all. <laughs> that says it all. Something's not right, Becca. I'm barfing my Becca. I'm barfing up good. <sighs> bro, I'm editing footage of the food after barfing it up and it's just, this is just isn't cohesive i i think i'm gonna wake up sick oh god so at the end of the day shoddy mills is all about the business but so am i and while it was an honor to have him charm his way to the worst reviewed table we have more food to get through still one day later all right where do I begin? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a worst reviewed first. For the first time ever, a place refused to sell me food. Mind you, I've had places say, oh, we're out of this, we're sold out of that. This is the first time I've seen the food in front of my face. You know, they have it behind the glass at 7-Eleven. And the guy straight up said, that's been out all day. I'm not going to give that to you. You might have been wondering why I didn't have pizza with Shoddy Mills. I fucking ordered it and I didn't realize till me and him sat down that they didn't even give me the slice. We're on strike two with the pizza. The first time they just straight up didn't give it to me and the second time they refused to give it to me. Absolutely insane. I don't know if that's a point for them or against them. It's like, I guess it's good that you're not selling your customers food that 
has basically gone bad, but why do you have it on display then? It doesn't make any sense. Also, something else happened for the first time in the history of Worst Reviewed. They gave me things for free. You might be wondering what. It was things that I tried to buy. They didn't just like put random stuff in my hands. It was something I tried to buy and they said, you can honestly just have this, bro. Y'all might be wondering what it was. <laughs> Yo. This banana has was cast into the fucking eye of Sauron, bro. This banana fell into Mount Doom. This is uh this is absolutely unthinkable. I guess I'm not surprised they gave this to me for free, but they should have done the same thing as the pizza and just refused to serve this to me cuz I know there's that saying, at least I've heard people say it like Oh, it doesn't matter if a banana goes dark, it's still good to eat, blah, blah, blah. That does not apply to this banana. Look at this thing. The edge of it looks actually looks like somebody welded it. This looks like somebody took a welder's torch to it, bro. This is like a banana from a Stephen King book that the peel of it shifts around the floor and makes your whole family slip and, and kills your entire family. This banana brings you 10 years of bad luck in Mario Kart. Okay, you know what? I will give credit where it's due. The banana looks fine. This is probably a servable banana. Fair enough. It's It might be the ugliest banana I've ever seen, but it's tastes regular. And then this cookie, it actually feels very soft. It feels like it has a very nice texture. It feels fresh. It doesn't feel stale. It, it feels very artificial. I think that's coming across on camera too. It just feels like a digital disc of dough. You know, it's pretty good. Ooh, up next, I got coffee. Don't talk to me unless I've had, until I've had my coffee or my ugly banana. So here's the coffee. I wasn't sure about if I should get this or not because I'll be honest, all coffee just tastes the same to me. Not much to see there. Just kind of some black coffee. That's impressive. It tastes like shit. It, it's impressive that they made coffee taste like shit. It just tastes like sour water. Up next, we got a breakfast sandwich. If you thought we were in dangerous territory before, now we're really venturing into it. When is this? I noticed he was eyeing this when he was saying, oh, you can't have the pizza, have the banana for free. He was looking at this and he wanted to say something, but like he, he didn't. The best before is today at 11.59 PM. What is this, Mission Impossible? Like I'm trying to beat the fucking clock. Try me toasted if you want to live. That is just about the sketchiest looking sausage I've ever seen. I mean, I'll throw it in the oven. All right, well, as we wait for that sandwich, what do we got left? So you might've been wondering where it is. I did get a donut. I don't know, let's, let's see how it tastes. It's cream filled, so. Ah! Betrayal at the hands of a donut. I never thought I'd see the day. Of all the old stale tasting things from the 7-Eleven, this is the oldest tasting one. That's crazy that they sold this to me. Also, the cream doesn't even begin until so deep into the donut. Look at that. I took a bite and I didn't even taste any cream in it, bro. When I have it on camera here, you can almost just visually see how old the bread is. That does not look like nearly enough cream. I'm not like a big donut guy, so I don't know if this is normal or not, but one fifth at best of this donut is cream filled. Cream in it harder next time, 7-Eleven. I also got these 7-Eleven sauces. You know, I can't stand Like how good do you think honey mustard 7-Eleven sauce is? This has, this is gonna be trash. Ugh. Mustard is supposed to taste like classy asshole. And this is, this is all asshole and none of the classiness. We've warmed up the egg sandwich. How does the sausage look worse? It's become so flesh colored. It tastes okay. It, do, it doesn't taste good. It doesn't taste like terrible. It tastes like a pretty regular egg sandwich. You know what I hate most about this 7-Eleven? Humankind and 7-Eleven have a sacred agreement, okay? And the agreement is as follows. We know the food is gonna be stale. We know it's been sitting there all day, but it's ultra processed. It's full of carbs and it's gonna get us through our day of you know, picking up a hooker at a truck stop or whatever we're doing, and it won't like 
make us sick or anything. But this 7-Eleven made me sick. This 7-Eleven has violated that sacred agreement. And for that, I would say it more than deserves its terrible reviews. Okay, today they made the pizza fresh for me. Okay, first of all, this presentation is crazy. I got two slices and they like stacked them together. I get that maybe they're trying to save on boxes or something, but this presentation is awful, bro. Also, this would look a lot better if the bottom of this pizza slice had some texture to it, some love to it, and wasn't just completely dry. God forbid we flip it over. Oh my God, you can just see the grease pooling. What do you want me to say, bro? On my third try, I got this. I finally got this. It's like this place is trying to be as awful as possible. All right. Possibly the ugliest pizza slice I've ever seen. <laughs> you know, it's pretty good actually. Capitalism wins again. At the end of the day, I see a little bit of myself in Shoddy Mills. We used to have love and now we're adrift in a sea of making content, lost. And maybe that's just our only way of expressing being a hopeless romantic in this modern era of dating. So I salute Shoddy and anyone struggling to find their special someone out there, you're not alone. It's a whole mess out there. And hey, if you have the ability to go to 7-Eleven today, get a snack, talk some shit with your friends, or even just watch a silly video like this, maybe that will make it a bit easier to keep going. I know it did for me. And uh, I feel like I've made a new friend. Love you guys. Peace. You were just a beautiful Filipino girl at 7-Eleven. But I'm gonna stick to fold in my bed. Cause a chance with me has come to an end. I extended my arm and even made you a song. And I remained strong trying to find your whereabouts. They say love comes around but you never did. It was just a moment that turned into a memory. Tell me now, I have to end this on these terms. Even though a burns wasn't a cause of concern. Cause life took its turn in a tombstone. I would have held your hand and brought you close. But all I received was false hope. And I left my number but it fell down from the hell of my marriage. But that's it.